Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over the best settings for Streamlabs OBS in Fortnite. So we might as well get started, shall we? You know what I mean? So, first of all, I'm just not going to try to waste any of your time. So I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible and give you the best settings. So let's get started. First, you just want to go to this little settings icon right here. Click on it. And first, you're going to be taken to a general tab. I don't really know what I did here, but if you guys would like to copy any of my settings, feel free. So I'm just going to scroll down slowly. Like I said, I don't think this does too much, but you know, just copy it. Here we go. Anyway, into the stream settings. So for the stream type, you guys just most likely want to do streaming services because most platforms actually accept that. And I'm not too sure what custom streaming is. That might be your own type of platform or something. But I would just select this one. Service. Whatever service you're going to be using. YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Facebook Live. Put that in. Your server. I would just do whichever server is closest to you. Mine, for example, is Madrid, Spain at the moment. And then your stream key, which is what you will be needing to link whatever um, service you are, such as Twitch or YouTube, your Streamlabs, so definitely make sure you have this. But anyway, going on to output, this is where it gets, you know, this is where the important stuff happens. So, output mode, advanced, just because my computer is quite strong. I'll link the specs to my computer, just so you guys can maybe compare yours and see if you can run this as well. Audio track is one, just because if you have more than one audio track, it will actually, like, it might mess up your sound and stuff, so I would just keep that at one. But if you have two P if you have a double PC setup, I'm not sure about this, so you'd have to check out a different video. But encoder, I use NVENC because I have a GTX 1080, and whenever I use my graphics card over my CPU, it just, I always get smoother and better gameplay. You want to click Enforce Streaming Service Encoder Settings as well. I would uncheck rescale output and then for rate control you do have a few options there's cbr there's average bitrate i would just choose cbr which stands for constant bitrate and basically what constant bitrate does is it makes your stream try to run the it makes streamlabs try to run your stream at like a bitrate that you set it as for example mine's at 6000 i don't actually run at 6000 but I try to get the highest quality bitrate that I can. And keyframe interval, I keep it at two. Preset, max quality. Profile main, GPU, I have it on zero. And max B frames on two. And recording, I would just set it as, a, what's it called? To one of your, you know, files that you would like to receive all your recordings. And if for some reason you guys, can, like it says you your computer doesn't support opening these files, I would change the recording format because I had a .png which wouldn't let me open any so I, once I changed it to mp4 it actually just worked extremely well moving on to audio so the mic auxiliary device is going to be your microphone and whatever you're using and your desktop audio device I would just keep it as a default unless you have a speaker that you would like people to hear from video settings I would just I would set this one to 1920 by 1080 or whatever your actually screen resolution is because this correlates to what your screen resolution is in game and let's say for example you're on 1280 by 720 in game that's what you would set this to your output scale resolution is what the quality of like the quality that your viewers are going to be seeing i have mine on 900p a lot of people don't know you can actually do this it's right in the middle between 720p and 1080p i highly recommend doing this one you don't get the input lag from 1080p and you get much better quality than 720 Downscale filter, 100% sharpened scaling, 32 samples. FPS type, common FPS values, and common FPS values to 60. Hotkeys, here this basically allows you to do, to make or put any hotkeys that you guys would like. For example, zoom in on your face real quickly or something. Now you could set that up for yourself. Advanced. Okay, so process priority, I would just set that on normal just because if it's on high might experience some blurry gameplay laggy stuff like that which also happens with a bit right color format i have it on nv12 just because that's the highest uv color space 601 uv color range on full i have it forced on gpu as a render device 
audio monitor device default again if you have a speaker or something you could just set that to any of these i have this checked off and then whatever you guys would like to collect your scenes in that's what you can do here notifications not really important and overall that's about it for the settings video so if you guys do see any changes in your like the quality of recording or if you have any questions please put them in the comments i will always answer them i'll look at every single one so take care have a good one guys i'll catch you later